Hi, I'm Deborah Vogler, Senior Technical Editor of Photovoltaics World Magazine, reporting from InterSolar North America. My guest is Hans-Jörg Lerchenmuller from Soitec. Thank you for being my guest. My Thank my, you. my first question for you is about the multiple contracts that Soitec uh, has. You're in Tunisia, Morocco, San Diego. What prompted the uh, investment in, uh, from these regions in your technology? And what's the status? Well, we, we actually we had um, managed to, to, to really bring CPV from the, the one megawatt level, which we achieved 2010, now really to the, to the multi 10 and 100 megawatt level. Um, we, we we signed an MOU with uh, with Masen in Morocco. Morocco is uh, having very ambitious targets to to go for uh, renewable energy, a total target of two gigawatt. Uh, we we signed also first uh, MOU with the Tunisia and uh, set up a, 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 uh, a small tracker, one unit. And but the major breakthrough is in California with SDG and E. And with the PPAs, we, we secured on our technology, so 305 megawatt in the pipeline, which will trigger on our side building a factory in California, in San Diego area. Well, now that you've, you've mentioned PPAs and other, and other uh, instruments, if you will, uh, uh, what's been the impact of legislation and economics on the investment uh, that your company makes strategically? Well, you, you have to distinguish um, between the various regions. So here in the U.S., we have the renewable portfolio standards. So the utilities have to comply with the renewable portfolio standards, 33% here in California. That definitely triggers uh, the strong interest uh, of the utilities. At the same time, there's a lot of pressure on cost, on providing the lowest cost electricity and CPV. Going to the, to the most sunniest places, CPV really provides the lowest cost of electricity. Now, you're a proponent of standards activities. What is Soitec doing to, to foster standards? Well, we, we're part of the, um, of the standard committee, and uh, we're supporting these, these standards. We, we, well, now we are having our, our fourth module generation already. We always go into uh, uh, the, the standard testing about six months before we start production with a new module, and, and we're just about to, to finish the, the, the qualification with a with the latest module generation we're producing. It's very important because bankability is all about reliability, long-term durability, and we need to deliver to the projects uh, a long-term and, and reliable product. Now, I always uh, try to push my luck a little bit in interviews. Is there any, you know, maybe a peek at what's next, uh, uh, what's coming uh, down the road? I know you can't make any announcements that you're not that you weren't intending to, but can you kind of give our, our viewers a, a hint at what's to come from Soitec? Well, we, we are really enthusiastic about the, the perspective of what's happening here in California. So, so going to the, to the 100 megawatt level um, on single projects, but also on manufacturing, going for a 200 megawatt factory, that really will, will, will accelerate so much the cost reduction potential or the cost reduction path that, that will we'll be at a point that solar is cost competitive with the conventional power before the end of the century. And that, that's, an amazing, that's an amazing achievement. So we're, we're extremely uh, uh, enthusiastic about that. Well, thank you very much for being my guest. Thank you. All right.